Welcome everyone to the Franklin WH Club. I'm here today with Mitch, our product manager out of Australia. I'm Brandon Sanchez, the director of marketing here on the US side. And today I wanna to talk about current state of affairs in Australia and all things energy storage and PV market since he's our, our resident expert out of Australia. So let's take it from the top. Tell me about the current state of, of how Australia is. Talk about penetration rate, how people perceive energy storage. You know, do, do they know that it exists? Yeah, for sure. So solar in Australia has been around for at least 15 years. Yeah. Um, obviously more than that, but in the mainstream, it started around 15 years ago with some government incentives. And to date, over a third of our homes have rooftop solar on them. So it's, it's very much a, a commoditized product that people talk about. Sure. So I don't know if you guys caught that. One third of the Australian market has solar. And so that's incredible. There's no real other place that has that high of an adoption rate or penetration rate, as we'd call it. So why would you think that is? Just because you guys have tons of uh, sun? I almost said snow. You guys have tons, <laughs> we, of, tons of snow? We tons, don't of, tons, of, tons of sun. Um, is that the main reason? Like people just want to adopt it because of the abundance of sun? I mean, it helps. So it, we have a lot of sun. So most places in Australia have a reasonable payback in terms of you know, kilowatt hours per kilowatt installed. Sure. I think also the roofs we have, a lot of them are quite simple to install on yep. compared to other parts of the world. So there's a, yeah, a lot of factors. Are you finding that it's different from one state to the next in terms of why someone should adopt this or overall adoption rate? Like, do you think there's a different mindset? Like, I'll give you an example. If you go to Florida, it could be all resiliency because they may want to stay safe during a hurricane or any sort of inclement weather. So there's multi-day outages that those guys are experiencing, or uh, it depends where you go. So is that kind of the same in Australia or? Similar, I'd say rather than state by state, the desire to have backup power is probably more so in the, the out of the urban areas. Sure. So the, the grid quality in, in our metropolitan cities is, is quite good. Although people will argue that <laughs> um, yep. over the last few years. But in terms of state by state, there are significant differences. And in fact, a lot of the incentives are run or offered through the state governments. Mm -hmm. So they can vary quite a lot. And also the, the fuel type. So some states already have a lot of re renewable energy in, in the network, which can mean a lower cost. Um, so that, that, yeah, the tariffs in some states are a lot higher than, than mm -hmm. others, which, which offers a different um, economic landscape for, for energy storage. It's a good time to plug our Franklin Home Power Solution. So you don't need solar. You can, if you have solar, you can retrofit our batteries right onto your home. No problem. If you want to go battery only, it doesn't matter what you want to do. Just throw that battery on. It works just like that. It's it truly unlocks that energy freedom. So speaking of retrofits, let's talk about the architecture of our system. Do you want to speak to that? Yes, yeah, certainly. So part of it's all in the name, right? Franklin WH, Franklin Whole Home. Yep. The philosophy behind the product was was to provide whole home backup. So in, in the battery itself, it has a, a 2x surge, which is not common among, among grid tied products in Australia. So that really gives you peace of mind in terms of running your whole home without the grid. Uh, energizing your home or a black start as we call it uh, so that's a great part of the spec the a gate which is your marshalling cabinet is designed to be pv agnostic so it, yep. it's just got two two circuits you can land any any form of pv mm -hmm. or any, any form of energy generation there really um, those can be used for self-consumption or depending on how you configure the system to charge the battery to export it, it's up to you and we've got a genset module so that's really really neat in yep. terms of the other products in the Australian market don't, they don't offer a great bridge between grid tied and, and off grid. So it's, it's really cool that you can install either a, a portable or a stationary mm -hmm. genset and, and use that for instances where you might have prolonged outages or, or even completely off grid that the system doesn't yeah. need a grid to, to work. So. so there are a lot of people that actually have generators on their homes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's not, they'd be there for that one day a year, yeah. which is quickly becoming that five days a year. Yep. So there'd be a lot of portable gensets sitting in, in garages for sure. Yeah. So, so having, and in fact, the way I've seen a few guys install the Franklin system is, is just put a, an outlet. You so you wheel around the yeah. Jenny, plug it in, yeah. it'll top up your battery and then you can turn it off again and, and yeah. go back to silent, yeah. silent backup. Awesome. So that's pretty much all we wanted to cover today, unless there was something else. No, I think that's good, Brennan. Right, that's everything. So thank you again for joining me. My pleasure. Thanks for watching, tuning into this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Cheers. Thanks.